body help all as well. Woo! So let's take a look at this video. Okay. You can see it says couple married 23 years. Husband says she's gained too much weight. And that's the part I want to talk about. Okay. So uh, let's check this out. Fair use 23 years now from size four to a, what size 14. Let me put it like this here. When we first got married, okay, we've been together for 25 years, right? Married for 23, right? So, that means I've seen her in her sixes. I'm talking about beautiful, you know, slender. And then she was a size four. And then she done ballooned up to a size 14, Judd. I'm sorry now, you know? So, she done gained weight through the year. Uh -huh. You know, we can be sleep, you know? And I wake up, you know, I hear chopping and, you know, eating. Now I look over and see, she's not eating an apple or orange, you She eating a full course meal. I'm talking about laying it down. Steak, mashed potatoes, everything. First of all, and I be, I be mad, you know, don't put that stuff up. First of all, Jesse. I say, say, you know, I tell you what, go and give me some of that too. You know, see, he's he's not going. Going. He's, first of all, Judge, I do not sleep with him. I sleep on the couch. So that's a lie right Why there. do you sleep on the couch? Because it's like this, this he, he's very uncomfortable when you sleep with him. I'm just gonna put it like that, where he is. And you know, and all that, you know, I don't want to be doing all that. You, know, you be doing all this, oh my goodness, all that. So I don't sleep with him, I sleep on the couch. And then my, I sleep with him. Uh, so, 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 so explain to me again what he's doing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You know, I ain't much gonna hear all that all through the night. Like, also, for him saying that I eat good. all through the night, that is a lie. And good. the thing human nature, everybody. That know. ain't human nature, because that's about all those things going I'm on. Whatever. I give her respect. I give her respect. So what, what do you have to say? Now, and I'm going to say this, and I, I'm a woman, too. Uh -huh. been, up, been up, bit down on, on the thing, and I get all of that. It must be, hey, baby, a, a couple of times. Do you understand that men are very visual people? My my mother's advice to me was he, he does indeed have to love you no matter how big you get, but it would behoove you to look as good as you can so he continues to look at you. If he leave me, I can lose it. Because then too, you know, I have a peace of mind and that's priceless. Well, that with ain't him, no, it's just that stress. Ain't for it's just judge. stress. I'm it's not just going stress. nowhere. I don't have to deal oh, with it him. Oh, it sounds good. No, 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 in my it ear. It sounds good. You know, no, no, no. Now, if you notice, she said, if he leave me, I can lose it. If he leave me, I can lose it. Because then, too, you know, I have a peace of mind and that's priceless. Well, that with ain't him, no, it's just that stress. Ain't for the it's judge. just stress. I'm it's not going stress. nowhere. I don't have to deal oh, with it him. Sounds no, 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 no. Now. My opinion, her man is making her fat. That's why, you know, and I don't consider it fat, but I'm going to say she's a size 14. He's saying she's gained too much weight because of you. She just said, if he leave me, I could lose it. So to me, that's code for emotional eating. All stressed out. Now, never mind. It's two sides to a coin. When men gain weight, get fat, get bald. Or maybe that the uh, third leg don't work at all. You're supposed to hang around and stand by your man through thick and thin. You see what I'm saying? That's how it is for women. You're supposed to just hold on. And she's a nice looking chick. But she said, if he leave me, I can lose it all that straight. That tells me that's cold for emotional eating. And a lot of women may not be cognizant of that. They may not be aware. I don't want to face it. Emotional eating. So, yeah, if he, she says, if he leaves me, I can lose it all that straight. She want to hear all that. Um, If this is a problem for him, what I would suggest for you, sir, she might need to take a leave of absence if you can't afford it because he might be, a, this might be, which is so typical, a 50-50 relationship kind of thing. Okay? You got all these complaints. Well, if you're complaining so much, let's sit down and have a conversation about it. Maybe she can take some time off and she, where she can, you know, maybe not be so stressed out. Take a break from the daily grind of going to work every day, cooking and cleaning. Like the video I did on Patreon, she says, I'm getting married. And I listen, I said, you are a fool. Gee, I wonder why. So a lot of these men complaining, oh, she fat, da, da, da. Uh, 
why don't you go ahead and make it so she doesn't have to work and the bills can get paid and she can maybe get an allowance trust me been there done that it's a nice thing to have why don't you go ahead and do that and maybe she can try to get her diet on get her rest on get her exercise on if you can man the heck up how about you do that and not worry about the bills leave and check the check hearing about layoffs on a job and wondering if it's going to be you maybe just maybe if she could avoid dealing with that so a lot of this is emotional eating you have them all complaining about the woman. Complain, 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 complain. And you on a 50-50 train. So they want to complain about your weight? Maybe it's the, the reason you're eating, it's emotional. Maybe your partner, your boyfriend, or your husband is dead weight. I said a conversation before with somebody. You know, I'm sorry. You can call whatever the heck you want. But if you all is 50-50, and I believe I've mentioned this in a video, uh, when, when, when it's time for those babies to drive, I, that 50-50 going to have to stop. I just don't see women getting married, having babies, working a full-time job, okay? Uh, it's time to divvy these, divvy these chores up. You get up. Go to work in the morning, get the baby. First of all, get the baby ready for school. You're doing breakfast, dropping the kid off at daycare. Then you go to work. Let me guess, you got to go pick up your, the kid after daycare. And then you got to come home and, oh, I'm to go to the grocery store. Then you got to come home and cook and clean and sit about the baby and bathe the baby. Put the dishes in the dishwasher if not doing dishes. Make the food, then clean up after they've done the food. Bathe the baby, put the baby to bed. Uh-oh, laundry, vacuuming, dusting. That's your weekend, huh? Now, you're supposed to be all rested and be ready to take care of him. What the hell is he doing? All he did was go to work and come home. You already start, you, time your feet get out the bed, you already start working. Getting ready, getting the baby ready, take the child off to, just to get a child, just to do breakfast and get a child fed breakfast and off to deck and then start, I can't even imagine. I'm not going, I won't be going for that deal. I mean, you think about it. You sitting up here, that's a job in itself. Get up, get you ready, fit breakfast and then breakfast for a baby and then got the child off at daycare and then you go to work and then start a full hour day. And then you come home, got to go pick up the child, might have to go to the grocery store, you got to cook the food, prepare dinner, then clean up after the dinner, bathe, feed the child your husband, and then the child has to go to bed, and you're supposed to be all ready for some um, intimate time. You got to be kidding. And that's day after day after day, five days a week, oh, on the weekend! If it's a young baby, you got be, to be crying, you got to get up. What's it on the weekend? You know you're not going to the spa. You working in the home, cleaning, running errands. What is he doing? What What's he doing? And you got the nerve to complain. These men, you don't qualify to complain, sweetheart. So if he can so, so concerned about her weight, I suggest she maybe take a leave of absence. But I bet you they probably can't afford it because they're probably depending on her money. And she probably just stressed out. Stressed out. She said if he leave, she could lose it. So that tells me emotional eating. Why? Because her man is making her fat. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Simply said here on YouTube, I'm out. Love ya.